Oh, we got a classic here. Let's go. As you can see, this is a little bit different. It's not mom versus wife, it's mom versus girlfriend because as mom stated, you're not the wife yet. I already get the feeling that mom and future wife, they don't get along at all. And you can definitely tell this is a power struggle. So the girlfriend gets in the front seat as she normally does and mom's not having it. But did it have to go like this? Girlfriend's thinking, this is my spot. I'm not just his girlfriend. I'm the mother of his child, I'm his partner, and I deserve the front seat. This is my spot. While mom's thinking, girl, you not his wife yet. I came here first. This is my son. I've been in his life long before you came around. I'm not taking a back seat, literally. And not only that, it's the way she approached her. Like, what are you doing? Get in the back. So I know girlfriend's like, who you think you are? Then the boyfriend, stuck in the middle of mom and future wife. And what does he do? Tell his future wife, the mother of his children, she gotta get in the back. Boundaries are already crossed. So let's unpack this. For the girlfriend, the front seat represents her place in this family unit. She's invested in this relationship. They have a child, they have a life together. So when mom rolls in and inserts her dominance, now it's more than just the front seat. It's a challenge. Can you imagine how awkward that is? Okay, and let's get back to the boyfriend. If he was smart, he'd have been like, mom, I love you, but that's her seat. If he doesn't start setting boundaries, there's always gonna be chaos between those two. So what's the takeaway here? Respect is a two-way street. The girlfriend, as his partner, deserves to feel valued and acknowledged. Mom needs to understand that her son has a family now. This isn't about the front seat. It's about navigating the relationship so that both parties feel respected. If they don't address the tension, it's only gonna get worse. And trust me, who wants that type of negativity in their life? Now I could see if mom had medical issues and she needed the front seat, she needed a little bit more leg room, but no disrespect, I'm not gonna come up in my house where my family resides where I'm mama and think you're going to take over. No, you run your house, not mine. So what do you think? Who should claim the front seat, mom or the girlfriend? Have you ever been in a situation like this? I want to hear your story. Let's go. What's it going? Gee, I don't. Oh, depends.